This is Ryan Blair, CEO of Vysalis, author of Nothing to Lose, Everything to Gain, and I'm listening to Pavlina's Kids Place. This is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place, and I'm on location with entrepreneur and best-selling author Ryan Blair. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. That's awesome. That's good. So, do you think much about uh, when you were younger, you know, carrying an AK-47, because you have a painting uh, that reminds you of growing up? Uh, you know, I, I have that painting as a tribute to the neighborhood that I grew up in and the kind of things that we were facing. And um, so I, I don't think about it much. I don't think about the days of me being a troubled youth, but I always want to remember where I came from. So growing up, kids have all kinds of obstacles. What kind of obstacles do you have, and how did you overcome or deal with them? Uh, well, I, uh, you know, first I had learning disabilities, so I had to re learn how to, to, to learn properly. Turns out that you know I, I have an ability to learn via auditory, not visual. I wasn't very good in the class, so I had to learn how to learn. That was the first obstacle. Then after that, there were some things um, that you know decisions I made that were bad that I had to learn how to overcome those, and mm -hmm. I had to learn how to write. I had to learn how to read because uh, I, you know, I effectively was a disabled child growing up. Definitely. So uh, your book sales, you know, um, Nothing to Lose, Everything to Gain, goes to Ur Urban, Urban Born. What is Urban Born? Well, so it goes to a variety of charities. We're donating Big Brother, Big Sister. We're donating to Boys and Girls Club, Juvenile Youth Centers. And then Urban Born is a charity that I partnered with, with Master P, the, uh, the, the rap star, to mm -hmm. give back to kids who are uh, in need. Awesome. And at risk, I should say. Yeah, definitely. That's really yeah. cool, though. So if you had a wand in one hand uh, that is for your biggest wish and a pencil on the other hand for designing, uh, like, to make that happen, uh, what would be your biggest wish and wh how would you make it happen? Uh, if I had a wand in one hand and a pencil in another, well, you know, my first wish was to write about the story of me overcoming mm -hmm. my obstacles, both self-imposed and those that I couldn't control that were handed to me by, you know, the decisions of my parents. So mm -hmm. the wand was, I wish I could be a success, and the pencil was what I used to write my book with. Yeah, definitely. That's cool, though. Awesome. So you encourage people to think and become their own entrepreneurs. Um, so what's like the most original approach that someone came up to you like for an idea? Uh, you know, people write me all from all around the world. The book has been mm -hmm. published in Korea, Indonesia, Romania, uh, coming out in French and Spanish. So I get great ideas sent to me. Um, I couldn't say which one's the most unique because all ideas are pretty unique. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. That's great. So uh, Tony Butella told me, you know, you really have to love what you do. Do you love what you do? Yeah, I love it. I, 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 you know you love what you do if you would do it for free, mm -hmm. and I do this for free. You know, I'm, I'm giving all my proceeds from the book to charity. Awesome. That's really great, though. Yeah. So uh, what's the best advice you've ever gotten, and who is it from? Uh, best advice, John Wooden told me to go pro. John Wooden's a world-renowned uh, UCLA basketball coach. Mm -hmm. He told me to go pro, and what that meant was take my game to a professional level. Yeah. So if you're going to be a writer, be a professional writer. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, be a professional entrepreneur. Awesome. That's really great. What kind of advice do you have for teens? Uh, you know, you have two types of education. You have the education you're getting in school, which is extremely important, and then you have self-education. And be a lifelong student. Your education mm -hmm. doesn't end when school's over. Yeah. You have to be a lifelong student. Awesome. That's great. great. So uh, you mentioned in your book about haters around you. Uh, how did you tune out the haters or just, you know, let them go? Um, you know, you, you have to, you're never above the haters. You just can't pay attention to them. I wrote a chapter in my book called Told You So for mm -hmm. all the people that, you know, said I would never amount to nothing. And they're still out there. They're still commenting, criticizing. You have to learn how to deal with critics growing, uh, you know, getting successful. Yes, definitely. I understand that. So you mentioned your mother a lot in the book and, you know, dedicated the book to her. How is she doing? Uh, she's doing great. She just got out of the hospital after 727 days, uh, 18 months of which she was in a coma. So we're really excited. We have her home. She's, you know, she's learning how to uh, uh, function again, learning how to walk. She's talking. She's making jokes. So, you know, I have my mom back, which is really neat. That's awesome. I'm really glad to hear that. So what are your upcoming plans and events? Uh, upcoming plans and events. I'm finishing up the book tour, uh, and then I'm going to do a tour of Asia and Europe. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be nonstop for a little while. Yeah, definitely. That's really cool. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you.